this is our camp setup. Bandara. Kerry and I are just about to go and do the the lava tubes tour. And we've actually got blue skies. Get away from the rain, which is the best thing. It's actually nice here. here you can see up at the top we've got that bubbly rock I was talking about no, we don't put that around our campfire do we and then underneath we've got the solid rock here ladies and gentlemen is the end of the Andara event right here the other term for that surface is the waxing effect the drip and dribble is the little splatters of molten lava that's been flicked up on the wall of the lava tube by these gases I spoke of up on the surface up there. Um, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to talk about three very different volcanoes this afternoon. I'm going to talk about this one here, Kilkani Cone, then I'm going to talk about this one here. It's called Racecourse. Now, uh, uh, ladies and gentlemen, I really should just add for Kerry the speed of these convergences. Kerry, it's, at a, it's about at the speed that your fingernails and toenails grow out. That's a good way to to remember how fast the Earth's surface is moving. About the same speed that your fingernails and toenails grow. Created 190,000 years ago, does it? It's really, every little bit of it is in just beautiful condition, isn't it? Look at By that. By the way, that moisture that you can see just there, it's not gold, it's water. Uh, well, liquid gold, I suppose. Uh, that uh, has come in from Cyclone Larry, actually and still coming. And the year on the right hand side is either down or gone altogether. <laughs> but anyway, he's pretty good, isn't he? He is. You don't have to be crazy. I don't know what our overseas visitors must think of us. You don't have to be crazy to be an Aussie, but it's a big help. Why would you have a polar bear on a tropical rum bottle? For their blood flow right down and they shiver for quite a while uh, to get their heartbeat and their um, their blood flow going. It seems to be painting, doesn't it? Hmm? It seems to be painting. Yeah, they shiver a lot for a long time, actually, before they fly. Now, the uh, bat wings are beautiful, too. They've got, uh, they've got uh, fur right to the tip of their nose. This guy's got, like, this is called the horseshoe nose because... It's got the imprint of a horseshoe. If you zoom up on it, you'll see what I mean. Uh, in fact, you can actually see it without zooming up on it. But um, um, but the bent wing is quite different. It's got fur right to the 